Hello, Nobuki Takamine here. Today, I would like to show you one of the most important notes in the chord, that is the seventh. In the last video, I showed you how to play thirds in the tenth of the chord. I actually mentioned that the third is the most important note of the chord because the third defines whether it's minor chord or major chord. Today, I'll talk about more about the seventh because the seventh also defines the chord. For instance, when you have a major third and major seventh on top of it, it's going to be a major seven chord. And if you have major third and minor seventh, it's going to be a dominant seven chord and so on and so on. I'll explain more about this later, but just like this, Seventh also defines chord, so it's very important to know where you have all the seventh and have access to them all the time. In this video, I will walk you through how to play seventh and how to find them on the fingerboard. I will also show you how to pick the right seventh according to the chord. At the end of this lesson, I will also show you something that I think it's very, very important when you study how to play over changes. Let's get started. So first thing first, so what is the seventh and what kind of seventh we have? So let's take the C major scale as an example. We have C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Now, counting from C, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, B is to be the seventh note from C. And um, the distance from C, the interval from C to B, this is called major seventh. Now, when you flat B down to B flat, we have something like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But now it's flatted seventh. So this is minor seventh. The easiest way to find seventh is actually using the root as the, uh, the reference point. So for instance, we have C here and then C on the fourth string is here. Now, the interval between this C to this C, uh, B is major seventh. Now, when you take a look at the, uh, the interval from high C on the fourth string now, C to B is a minor second. In other words, it's a half step. So, the relationship between major seventh is always half step below the root. So this will give you this as the major seventh. And also this root will give you this note as the major seventh. And then we can do the same thing to the minor seventh, which is B flat. So now the root and the B flat, the relationship of these two notes is a whole step, which is a major second. Okay, so based on this C, this is the flat seventh or minor seventh. And based on this C, this is the minor seventh. That's how you can remember how to play seventh. So, you know, try with different notes, like for instance, G, and then this is a major seventh. This is a minor seventh. And then try from this D on the fifth string and go up the uh, one octave and then go down a half step to find a major seventh or go down whole step to get a minor seventh. When you play jazz standards, you'll notice that there are four common chord types, which are major seventh, dominant seventh, minor seventh, minor seventh, flat five. Those are the chords that live in major scale harmony. So you'll almost always see those chords in every jazz standards or any other types of songs. So I'll show you how to pick major seventh or minor seventh depending on the chord. Okay, when you have a C major seventh chord, that is a C major chord with major seventh note on top of it. So you will pick major seventh note. On the other hand, when you have C seventh, C seventh chord is a C major chord with minor seventh. So you will pick flat seventh. 
Now, when you have minor chords like C minor seven or C minor seven flat five, for instance, so when you have C minor seven chord, that is a C minor chord with minor seventh note in it. So you will pick minor seven, which is flat seven. And when you have C minor seven flat five, you will also pick minor seventh because the you know the chord has only seven. I won't get in too deep about other chords besides these four chords, but uh, when you have something like C minor major seven chord, that's a C minor chord with major seventh note. So depending on what kind of chord, whether it's major or minor, uh, look at the other seventh. And when you have major seventh in the name of the chord, you will pick major seven. And when you only have seven, you will pick the minor seventh. So now I'll show you how to practice and getting used to the sound of the seventh. Okay, so let's take the uh, the first eight measures of autumn leaves as an example. The first chord is C minor seven. So I have C on the eighth fret at the sixth string, and this is my C on the fourth string. So C minor seven chord has flat seventh. So I will play C and B flat. Next chord is F seventh. So I have F on the eighth fret at the fifth string, and go down whole step to play minor seventh. And now this is F seventh. Next two chords are B flat major seven and E flat major seven. So now this is when we have to pick a major seventh note. So this is my B flat. And I go down half step to get major seventh note, and this is my E flat, and I pick the D because it's on half step below. Next chord is A minor seven flat five and D seven, so I'm gonna pick minor seventh for A minor seven flat five, and I will also pick minor seven for D seven. Now I have G minor seven, so uh, I play minor seventh by going down whole step below the root. Okay, one more time. I have the root C minor seven, F seven, B flat major seven, E flat major seven, A minor seven flat five, D seven, G minor seven. So that's how you can pick uh, which seventh, you know, according to the uh, the chords that you play. You may come across, you know, different kinds of chords besides major seven, dominant seven, minor seven, minor seven, flat five. Um, you can always look at my website. There is actually a PDF file called Chord Construction. So you know, you can find you know all the combinations for like a different types of chords. I will show you one more exercise that I think it's really really useful to build up the, uh, the ability to play over changes. In the last video I showed you how to you know find the thirds and how to determine which third you play. So if you haven't checked the uh, my previous video please you know find the links from the uh, the descriptions below. Okay? Again, let's use the first eight measures of autumn leaves to show you this exercise. Now I have my root and seventh for each chord like this. Okay, here's one thing that you can do that is to add the third to it. So C minor seven, you add minor third and minor seventh. So this is this sounds kind of represents the C minor seven chord. Now next chord, F seven. So F seven chord is um, you know minor seventh note with major third. Okay. Now B flat major seventh is a chord with major seventh note and major third. E flat major seven is the same thing, major third and major seventh. Now A minor seven flat five has minor third and minor seventh. D seven has major third and flat seventh. And the last one, G minor seventh is. A uh, chord with minor third and minor seventh, and then you can do this with actually the tenth. Uh, the tenth is actually extension of the third. You know, the third plus one octave becomes the uh, the tenth. So now my third is up on the uh, the third string. 
So this is my C minor 7 chord, you know, played with the root 7th and 3rd. I can do this. This is a very, very simple exercise, but, you know, this tune your ears to the song. Now we know how to play 3rd and 7th of the chord, and those two notes make guide tones. Guide tones are really important when you study different chord voicings because those two notes define a chord. So you can play guide tones harmonically as well as melodically. Now I will play autumn leaves with guide tones as well as, you know, the root occasionally. Okay? <laughs> That's it for this video showing the 7th. I hope this helps. As always, please feel free to email me when you have a question. You can also write a comment below. Thank you so much for watching and see you next week.